Welcome to College Chronicles, the podcast where we share personal experiences and insights into the transformative journey of being a college student. I'm your host, Charles Caligaran, and today we'll delve into the highs, lows, and everything in between that comes into pursuing higher education. Whether you're a current student, a recent graduate, or someone curious about the college experience, this episode is for you. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this captivating exploration of our personal journey through our first year of college life featuring my friends, Ian Roy Julian, Hi. Van Howell Gangan, Yo. Thomas Dadis, Hello. John Kaiser Ricamora, and our cameraman, Michael Gabriel Postrado. Bang, bang, bang. The decision to pursue higher education is often a significant milestone in our lives. In this segment, we'll explore the factors that influence our choices and emotion we experience during the college selection process. Ian, what are your thoughts about that? Well, thank you for this opportunity, Charles. Um, I believe that this forum is very important, especially for our addings or the students younger than us that are still undecided on their college future. But going back to the question, I agree with you. Choosing a course is not like choosing a school to attend to in high school because this will define your career choice and your life as a whole. In this momentous decision, not only will you choose what job you're going to have, but also what life you are going to live. As we all know, it is common knowledge to admit that being in the health industry is a profession that needs extreme passion and devotion because you need to sacrifice time to save people while being paid less than other professionals. So I think to be in this field, one needs to have a special kind of love for helping others through healing. But how did I get here? Well, a little thing about me is, both my parents are professionals in the health field, and so ever since I was young, I've always wanted to be like them. I think it's because of the reason that I grew up in an environment where I practically lived inside the hospital. So the healthcare setting is home to me. I know many people may say, that the only reason I chose I chose this course is because of my parents, but I assure you, it is not. I think the main reason why I chose this course is not because my parents told me to, but because I personally saw the fulfillment in their eyes when their patients became better because of their care. And I thought to myself, would it be very cool to feel the same emotions when I treat other people too? So, at the end of high school, I had two courses to choose from being a pharmacist, or being a medical laboratory scientist. But due to circumstances that I can't control, I chose to enter the latter. And just a little story time for you guys, I never saw myself entering this school and this course because during the entrance exam, I ran out of time in answering the questions and I was not even sure if I got half of the answers correct. I also have a big respect for this school and I don't think I can survive even the first sem of this course. I've also heard many testimonies prior to admission that this program in this school has a strenuous curriculum and that many students struggle to keep up with the academic work. However, seeing things as it is now, I think I don't regret joining this course. Not only am I in one of the best schools for this course, but also met the best people I could hope for that helps me to grind this course through make it to the end. As we conclude the first year of medical laboratory science, I have to say that I made the best decision. But the question is, in the long run, in the future, do I think I made the right choice still? I don't know. And I guess I will never know until I get there. But I think that's why I find my college life exciting. Because of its mystery. Because we'll only truly know what's meant for us until we cross that bridge. Uh, yeah, that's very true. That's very true. As long as... Uh, my opinion about that is, as long as you're happy with your current decision, you wouldn't regret it in the long run because you wanted that in the first place. Yes, so, I agree with you. So let's just continue on and see how it goes. Yes, Thank you, Ian, for your such wonderful message. Thank you. College academics is a blend of excitement, challenges, and intellectual growth. Let's discuss our encounters with various subjects, professors, and learning environments. How did our academic experiences shape our perspectives and aspirations? Well, as for today, I'll share my insights. Today, I want to share with you my academic experience as a freshman student of medical laboratory science. It has been a remarkable journey filled with excitement, exploration, and a deepening passion for healthcare. 
From the moment I stepped into the classroom, I was captivated by the intricate world of the medical laboratory science. The curriculum exposed me to a wide range of subjects from anatomy and physiology to principles of medical laboratory science to analytical chemistry and siyempre, let's not forget purposive communication. I love my professors so much. Each course challenged me to acquire a solid foundation of knowledge and develop essential laboratory skills. One of the most Valuable aspects of my academic experience has been hands-on learning opportunities. Through laboratory sessions, I gained practical experience in handling laboratory equipment, conducting tests, and analyzing patient samples. These experiences not only solidified my understanding of theoretical concepts, but also allowed me to witness the direct impact that accurate and precise laboratory work it has on patient care. My academic journey as a freshman student of medical laboratory science has also been enriched by the guidance of experience and dedicated faculty members. Their expertise and passion for the field have inspired me to strive for excellence and encouraged me to explore the ever-evolving advancements of medical research and technology. Furthermore, my interactions with fellow students have fostered a collaborative learning environment through group projects and discussions, I've gained a deeper appreciation for teamwork, effective communication, and the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in healthcare. The friendships and support system formed within my cohort have been invaluable, providing a network of peers who share my passion and dedication. <clears throat> While my academic adventure as a freshman student of medical laboratory science has been rewarding, it has not been without its challenges, the demanding coursework, Rigorous study schedules and the need for meticulous attention to detail have tested my resilience and time management skills. However, these challenges have taught me valuable lessons in perseverance, discipline, and the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. As I look ahead into the next stages of my academic journey, I am filled with excitement and determination. My freshman year in medical laboratory science has laid a strong foundation for my future studies and has ignited a desire to contribute to the field of healthcare. I am eager to delve deeper into the specialized areas of laboratory medicine, engage in research and projects, and gain practical experience through internships and medical rotations. In conclusion, my academic experience as a freshman student of medical laboratory science has been an incredible adventure of growth, discovery, and passion. I am grateful for the opportunities to learn the support of my professors and peers, and a chance to make a meaningful contribution to the healthcare field. With each passing day, I am more inspired to pursue my goals and make a difference in the lives of my patients in the future. Thank you. College life extends far beyond the classroom. It's vibrant memories of friendships, clubs, events, and social interactions. Join us as we share our most memorable moments discuss the importance of community, and explore how our social experiences enrich by our college years, featuring Thomas Daddies. Thomas, let's talk about it. Okay, so, um, so college life does, in fact, go much beyond the classroom, um, including a wide variety of events that mold people in live enduring impressions. College social life is a colorful tapestry made up of friendships, groups, activities, and other people. Um, these components make a substantial contribution to the overall college experience by encouraging personal development, broadening horizons, and de developing a feeling of community. But I had a lot of thoughts running through my head as I went into the college grounds. Because I'm traveling from the city of Ilagan to Tugigarao, I'm experiencing social anxiety and homesickness as I consider things like the shifts in my friends, family, relatives, and the people I used to be with. Everyone agrees that starting is one of life's hardest tasks. And at first, it is a struggle for me, of course. A, a butterfly college level is different to the environment I am used to. And in a, in a nutshell, um, it is a new beginning and a new chapter in my life. And there before, I got to this point in the social element of uh, college, my beginnings were like a maze. Um, <clears throat> I was situated in a scam where a fraud professor claimed to be our advisor in our session he instructed us to email a picture of our half-naked bodies and it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life but it taught me a valuable lesson and led me to meet Van 
uh, one of my friend. I thought it was suspicious, so I immediately chatted with him since he's also my schoolmate in senior high school. The flow of my social journey is like a domino effect, where such friendships and um, uh, inside the classroom and campus are formed. One of the most memorable aspects of my college is the opportunity to form lifelong friendships. College brings together individuals from diverse backgrounds and with various interests providing an environment where people can connect and forge deep bonds. Whether it's though living in dormitories, participating in extracurricular activities, or attending social events, college offers countless avenues for meeting like-minded individuals and developing strong friendships. College acts as a microcosm of society, exposing students to a variety of cultures, viewpoints, and social groups outside of their own social circle. Interacting with friends from other backgrounds encourages inclusion and fosters a better view of the world. Speaking with students who hold different opinions challenges one's own beliefs and broadens one's views, and these social interactions among college students help people grow personally and hone their critical thinking abilities. Just like our community outreach program back then, together with the full batch and such professionals, we've enjoyed and at the same time we learn about the four corners of the program in helping and inform informing others. And this shaped me and boost my verbal skills to try more in speaking publicly. Such programs like college days, intramurals were also a big factor and opportunity to execute socialization, especially to us first years. Emotional well-being, human beings are social creatures by nature and social interaction fulfills our need for companionship, support, and belonging. Engaging in positive social interactions can, improve, it can improve our mood, reduce stress, and enhance overall emotional well-being. It provides an outlet for self-expression, empathy, and sharing experiences which can lead to greater sense of happiness and fulfillment. So here are the um, social interaction benefits or uh, it can give or it's, it, is, it is some such factors where uh, we can uh, see the benefits or advantages of uh, interacting with others. So first is the mental stimulation. Interacting with others stimulates our minds and promotes cognitive growth. Engaging in conversations, debates, and discussions challenges our thoughts, exposes us to different perspectives, and encourages critical thinking. Through social interaction, we can learn from others, expand our knowledge, and develop new ideas. And the second one, personal development. Social interaction provides opportunities for personal growth and development. It helps us to develop and refine important skills such as communication, empathy, active listening, conflict resolution, and teamwork. Interacting with a diverse group of people exposes us to different cultures, values, and beliefs, fostering tolerance, open-mindedness, and cultural competence. And the third one, support system, of course. Social interaction creates a support system that we can rely on during both good times and difficult times. Building strong relationships and connections with others provides a network of support, encouragement, and advice. This support system can help us navigate challenges, cope with stress, and overcome obstacles more effectively. And of course, also expanding horizons. Engaging in social interactions exposes us to different ideas, experiences, and perspectives that we may not have encountered on our own. It broadens our horizons, challenges our preconceptions, and encourages personal and intellectual growth. Through social interaction, we can learn about different cultures, traditions, and ways of life, fostering a greater understanding and appreciation for diversity. And of course, also in, as a medical student, health benefits also. Studies, studies have shown that social interaction is associated with improved physical health. Engaging in social activities can boost our immune system, or the research, such researches, lower the risk of certain diseases, and increase longevity. Social interaction can also provide a sense of purpose and motivation, encouraging healthy behaviors such as exercise, healthy eating, and self-care. As I've stated uh, a while back, our program or the outreach program. Okay, networking opportunities, the last one. Building a strong social network through interactions can open doors to various opportunities. Networking with peers, professors, professionals, and alumni can lead to internships, job opportunities, mentorships, and collaborations. Social interaction allows us to connect with people who can provide guidance, support, and resources that can positively impact our personal and professional lives. So in conclusion, <clears throat> a college life is a complex experience that goes far beyond the lecture hall. College has a huge impact on one's personal development and help us to create lifelong memories. Friendships are created, groups are joined, events are attended, and social interactions are experienced. Opportunities for interaction, support, and investigation of many viewpoints are provided by the campus community 
these social opportunities enhance college life by promoting personal growth and a vibrant, satisfying college experience. Thank you. That was, the, that, that was one of the most best segments that I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot of lessons from what you said, like from the social interactions, and I love how I got to I got to see and witness along the way how you've grown, Thomas. I'm so proud of you. College is a time of personal growth, self-discovery, and facing obstacles head-on. In this segment, we'll discuss the challenges we've encountered, how we overcame them, and the valuable life lessons we've learned along the way. So, Van, what are your thoughts about that? Um, as you may know, um, before I came here into Wigaro to study, um, my father told me about um, spreading my wings and getting out of my comfort zone. Um, as you may know, guys, um, I grew up in a city surrounded by familiar faces and you know um, cozy surroundings, and I got used to being close to my family, and I got used to having someone to take care of me. Um, wherein I have nothing else to do but just study. I do not have problems with laundry, what foods to cook, and other household tasks. And I know is that if 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 um, I'm get sick or if I have problems, there's someone to take care of me. So what happened during your college? Let's um, talk about it. But when it came, it came time for college, uh, so I decided to venture far away from home. Um, to tell you the truth, I have no idea that um, stepping outside of my comfort zone would bring me for some of the most amazing and at times some of the most challenging experiences in my life. In college, um, I'm alone. I'm on my own and I do not know how should I live in a room with only myself. Um, the feeling of um, to be positioned in an environment that was far from home, from home and family, it seems so very distant. Sometimes the one for comfortable surroundings, meals cook at home and familiar faces can be unbearable. Um, another challenge is um, for me is adjusting to the new academic demands and workload. In our college, um, college academics of it often required a higher level of <clears throat> independ independence and self-discipline compared to high school. As a freshman, um, I found myself with challenging school works, deadlines, and quizzes, exams, and the need to manage my time effectively. In facing the challenges I've encountered, one of the most um, effective effective ways is to cope up and adjust to this new surrounding by building a support system. I surround myself with um, positive and like-minded like individuals like you who share my the same interests and values. You know guys, um, we humans can adapt and adjust to the environment we live in. We use our experiences to gain knowledge and skill and learning to manage our time effectively is very important. For me, I develop strategies such as creating schedules and setting priorities. The experiences I faced in college taught me valuable things in time management and self-discipline. I do not know if I made the right um, choice to study far from home and I have no idea what the future might hold. But I do know that stepping outside of my comfort zone allows me to explore possibilities and embrace challenges. Stepping beyond my comfort zone um, allows me to push myself to try new things, overcome fears, and face challenges. It involves being open to new experiences, gaining learning from mistakes, resilience, adaptability, and a positive mindset. Positive mindset. And with that, I've changed and I'm not who I used to be before college. Wow, that's very good, but I love the optimism that you've shown to us. That is very commendable. So for our next for our next segment, we're gonna talk about balancing academics, work, and life, which will be talked about by um, by my friend John Kaiser Rigamora. So before before going on, juggling academics, managing the house, extracurricular activities, and personal life can be quite a challenge. How did we find our balance? <clears throat> It was difficult at first, but let's share some of our strategies for time management, self-care, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle amidst the uh, demanding college environment. John Kaiser, what's your opinion about that? He 
you know, as Einstein once said, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. This is the same for college and transitioning into independence. Coursework can be rigorous, with demanding schedules, countless hours of reading, research, and assignments. Students must navigate a maze of lectures, tutorials, and exams while striving to grasp complex concepts and theories. Combined with the daily struggles of life, such as financing and keeping the house in one piece, it is no surprise that most of us, including myself, struggle to stay in the, in the ringer, which is why people say that education is not a race, it is a marathon. You must continue to strive at your own pace, even you, if you get overtaken by others. You know, when I first started thinking about my near future during the closing up of high school, I thought that it would, it would be similar to the smooth sailing back then, but with a slight increase in difficulty. But when you get a little bit of when you get a little bit of everything, sometimes you get together with friends. At times, you come nights before major exams, and occasionally you get to help out, you know, at home. Well, I was proving very much, very much incorrect within the first months of entering the ring. Exams would pop up all nowhere. Lectures worked multiple hours long, and textbooks as thick as dictionaries. It was information overload. This then encouraged me to keep up with the exaggerated workload. But then upon doing so, sacrifice one of the three aspects in life, socials, family, or academics. Weeks went by without contact, contacting my former peers. I stopped approaching relatives and even became more timid towards people. This then carried on until present day where I essentially lost touch with my former batchmates. I struggled to quickly form relationships and socialize like a normal person. But at the, at the end of the day, life is not about the accolades, I beg you. Students who are struggling to strike a balance between studies and social life, be gentle to yourself. Keep in mind that success isn't determined by your academic performance or professional accomplishments. It is also influenced by factors such as personal development, happiness, and general well-being. Do not beat yourself up on a single setback. At times, you need to cool down in order to get back up again. Take a deep breath as this journey is only, only beginning. Yes, I believe that is true, John Kayser. Yes, some people though in college are very antisocial and some of them are really having a hard time on making friends. Maybe our listeners will be, will be able to get an advice from what you said. So, thank you. For that. As we conclude this episode, Let's share our final thoughts, advice, and words of wisdom for those currently navigating the college journey or considering higher education in the future. Michael Gabriel Postrado, what are your thoughts? Um, studying college provides you with a chance to delve into subjects that ignite your curiosi curiosity and fuel your ambition. It allows you to uncover your true interests and discover your purpose. Through rigorous academic exploration, you will gain expertise in your chosen field, positioning yourself for future professional endeavors or factors. Um, remember that college is not solely about earning a degree or securing a job. It is a transformative experience that shapes your character, broadens your perspectives, and fosters personal growth. It teaches you discipline, perseverance, and value of hard work, especially time, ma time management. Then, each moment is spent studying is an investment in yourself and your future, laying your groundwork for fulfilling and meaningful life. However, studying in college is not just confined into the, confined into the classroom. Engage in extracurricular activities, seek out internships, and research research opportunities and form connections with the professors and fellow, fellow students. Um, embrace the entire collegiate experience for it is, it is through, the, through these interactions and experiences that you will gain invaluable insights and develop the skills necessary for success in a dynamic world. Um, cherish your time, time in college because for it is a precious ch chapter in your life that will shape and shape the trajectory of your future. Um, embrace the importance of studying with a sense of enthusiasm and curiosity. 
and let it become a lifelong pursuit. Um, remember that learning does not end with graduation, but rather it is a lifelong journey of growth and self-improvement. So, my dear friend and colleagues, um, let the flame of knowledge burn brightly within you. Embrace the challenges, seize the opportunities, and study with dedication and passion. As you embark on this remarkable journey, know that seeds you sow through your diligent efforts will blossom into a bountiful harvest, paving the way for a future that knows your bounds. That's all. That's a very good message for those who are currently in college and those who will come in college. I, I would like to wish them luck and also to you. Thank you for your such wonderful message. Thank you for joining us on this reflective journey to our personal college experiences. We hope this episode offered valuable insights, relatable moments, and inspiration for your own educational pursuits. Remember, the college experience is unique for each individual, but it's the lessons we learned and the memories we created that shape us into what we become. Now that's one minute. See you tomorrow. Until next time, stay curious and embrace the adventure that is college life.